The 34-year-old Okada rider has lost one eye after he was attacked by suspected gangs in Gumbi metropolis. The Okada operator was attacked while trying to rescue his neighbor from suspected hoodlums who attacked the area. The father of four said life has been very difficult after losing one eye and four fingers in the incident. He is calling on security operatives to investigate the matter and bring the perpetrators to justice. Trust TV's Ibrahim Ismail reports. The 34-year-old Gombebegi's Okada operator was attacked after he joined his friends to rescue a victim of gang attack in their neighborhood. Sadly, he turned out to be the victim. The attackers used machetes and knives and wounded Ibrahim on his face. He lost his right eye and four fingers on his right arm. <laughs> Some thugs attacked our neighborhood and looted shops. The following day, they attacked again. The attacked again. When I returned from my Okada walk, I heard someone screaming. We went to rescue him. They removed one of my eyes and cut my fingers. Ibrahim, who has a wife and four children, is struggling to cater for his family because of the injuries he sustained during the attack. The victim, who now lives with his mother, is demanding for justice as his family is concerned that the suspected attackers were not arrested more than a month after the incident. His children are with their mother, who returned to her parents. Because he has nowhere to stay, that is why he is in my room. The victim's family admitted that they did little to reach out to the police to investigate the matter and arrest the perpetrators. Commenting on the issue, Nigeria Police Gombe State Command said failure of the victim's family to lodge an official complaint hinders the police from arresting the suspect. Then you will not find them again. You will not see them. What you will only hear is blame blaming the police for not arresting the suspects how do you expect the policeman to know the people that carried out this act on you if without reporting without telling them some of the clues that the person resembles so so, so Yes, I know the person. No, I don't know the person. You are the one to give all this information. Ibrahim, who is in pain due to the lost one eye, hopes that security agencies will guarantee the people's safety. We know the talks and their parent. I want them to be punished. Their parents should compensate me for losing an eye and fingers. This is my problem. Gombe has been battling with violence from thugs known as Kalare boys who have been unleashing mayhem on unsuspecting members of the public. Security operatives have however assured that the activities of the group will be curtailed to guarantee security of lives and property. Ibrahim Ismail, Trust TV News, Gombe.